Welcome, Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition giving you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. As well as, this is a bonus reading. So you already have another reading put up this week for your sign. Um, it should have went up just before this one. So if you didn't already, go check that out. All right, for the collective, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the energy here, please? What are you worried about? Oh. Well, that's interesting. What's happening? Tell me about this person. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is a specific type of reading. If this is not your story, please don't force it to fit. Like I said, I put up a bonus reading for you guys already. Right, check that one out too. If neither uh, resonates for you, check your other placements. Moon rising, Venus, okay? Um, I'm going to pull a clarifying card before I say anything, but this is this does feel like kind of like a very big energy. Unrequited love. What is this? What is this? What's happening for Libra, please? Okay, codependency. All right. Libra, 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 Libra. All right, you're really worried at this time. I think that you're really very much in your head, okay? Which you guys can get a tendency to do that at times. You know, you overthink the situation analyze it look closely at it you know try to make sense of it all try to think of the situation rationally if you can uh, something happened something you were not expecting of all the people to disappoint you or upset you you did not expect this situation to happen take place with this person um i think you were doing some some research right um and again Take it how it resonates. Some of you could be flipped to reverse. Cross watchers are always welcome here. But this is this is from the perspective that I'm seeing it, okay? I, I feel like you saw something. Like you were having this like little, like I said, you didn't expect to find this out. Like you may have thought this person was hiding something from you, but you did not think it was this. Um, Nine of Swords, fear, worry, insecurity, doubt, restlessness. There was something eaten away at you that, that you were, I, mean, I think you thought this person maybe said that they were a journalist, but they were actually a McDonald's burger flipper. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you thought this person was probably hiding something from you. Something small. Maybe it's just the amount of money they make or the where they live or something. Like something small. And you uncovered something you did not expect you were not prepared for in any way i think you were doing some digging i think you were checking up on this person online social media and you found something out like for some of you i don't know why this is very specific i think this person maybe even lied about their name um i could be for like one of you maybe two i i feel like this person was already involved with someone Libra. And if, if, if that's definitely not you, don't force it to fit. Please don't get offended. You know, take it as it's leave it as not. But please be sensitive to the fact that there are people who are dealing with this situation. Okay? If that's not you, then I'm happy for you. That's wonderful. But please be understanding of the people who are dealing with this. Okay? Um, so you did some digging. You did a little bit of research here. And now you're trying to figure out what to do with this information. Should you tell this person's partner the truth? Should you tell them what their partner has been up to? What do you do with this? For some of you, I think that you've already fallen for this person. But this person was not being honest with you. And for some of you, I mean, they could have told you, oh yeah, we're separated. We're not living together. Oh, I don't have any kids. Something like that. And, you're, and like you just found it online. Here's a, you know... They said they were going on a work trip, and then all of a sudden you're seeing pictures of them at, at the, on vacation with their family. Work trip? Hmm? Okay, I'm saying, I feel like this. You you uncovered something, and now you don't know what to do with it. This was 
earth shattering. This upsets you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have Pisces Cancer very strongly here. Um, we have a little bit of earth. We have air. Gemini Libra Aquarius. But very strong Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Um, I think that you still have feelings for this person, but you don't trust them. And for some of them, when you confront them about the situation, they tried to, they, oh, um, we're just getting together for the kids. You know, I, we just have a custody arrangement thing. We just have this, that, and the other. You know, we had that trip planned for months before the separation, blah, 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 blah. And you don't believe them. I, I think you can't believe anything this person says at this point. And so they're trying to win you back. Baby, I'm sorry. You know, it's only you. You have my heart. I'm in love with you. And this person really is pulling at your heartstrings because, you know, you do feel something here. You know? I feel like some of them are even begging you not to tell this other person or not to contact them. Like, you know, just keep between us. You know, it's only going to ups... Oh... For some of you, they're telling you this person has like mental health issues or an eating disorder or something like that. As like, that's why I can't tell them because, you know, they would hurt themselves or, you know, what would it do to the kids? They would keep the kids from me. They'll take the house from me. They'll do this. Some of you, they're asking you to keep this secret because they're still living with this person and don't buy it. If they're telling you, oh, this person has mental health issues, this person, they don't, they just don't want to rock the boat that they're in because they're not prepared to leave that ship. Um, oh gosh, this was so specific. Like I say, I always recommend you guys get personal readings. If not with me, with someone that you trust who will tell you the truth, Okay. Good, bad, ugly, doesn't matter. You need to know so that you can make the best decisions for you, yourself, your family, your future. You don't trust this person. I think you want to. Because you felt something there. But I think it's tormenting you because you, this person kept a big secret from you. And you uncovered the truth. Now they're trying to justify it or beg for forgiveness. I don't want to lose you. I just, I can't leave this person now because they're dealing with this X, Y, or Z. We have this together. We have to pay the house off first. We have to do this, 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 this. They have all these reasons why they're not making these changes. Like they're codependent in that relationship. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. They're telling you that they don't want to be with that person anymore. It's unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It's just about appearances, baby. It's just because we have money together. We have a home. We have family of kids. You know, it's because of X, Y, or Z. I had to be with them for that. But it's it's nothing. It's just it's all it is. It's just, you know. But you don't. Okay, if that was the case, why not tell you in the, in the beginning? Why don't you define that out on your own? And so this person, they're still thinking of all the ways they can win you back. Okay, that's what you need to know here. This person, look at them. They're going to the drawing board. See every single one of these pinnacles? I'm picturing somebody who's like writing out a letter, rolling it up, throwing it in the trash can. This is not going to work. Baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no. I can't stop thinking about you. No. You know, please just listen. Can we talk? They're going to the drawing board. You know, I think this person's writing out messages, deleting it. You could even be see if you're opening your text thread or your message thread, you could even be seeing those little dots pop up and then disappear and pop up and disappear. They still want you. They still have desire for you. They see you single, independent, beautiful, successful, ambitious, driven, motivated, confident, taking care of yourself, holding your head high, trying so hard not to let this person affect you. They want you. They still do. Some of you, even if you have feelings for this person, you don't trust them now. It's like, well, I always worry that you're lying to me. After everything, you could have just been honest. If that was really the case, why not tell me from the beginning? Let me decide how I feel about it. Keep me in the loop. But, you know, this person completely flat out lied to you. And you found out they tried to even cover it up or rationalize it or manipulate their way out of that situation. You know, and part of it could be true. I mean, there, I mean, there could be some issues that they're having that, you know, they can't resolve it right away. Okay, part of it, part of it, but that doesn't change the facts. This person should have been honest from the beginning because the way you found out about the situation, that wasn't fair to you or this other person. 
Um, so they're coming in. Again, male, female, does not matter. Just the energy here, Queen of Cups. They're pouring, their intention in here is to pour their heart out to you and tell you, it's only you, I only want to be with you. I can't stop thinking about you. Please give us another chance. You know, they're pouring their heart out. They're getting extremely emotional. But what you can expect here in this person's actions, we have secrets and we have third party. They're still involved. They're telling you, just, just be patient, baby, because, you know, sorry about that. Like I was saying, this person, whatever the situation is, they're coming in. They're trying to do whatever they can to win you back, to hold on to you because they don't want to lose you. And, you know, like I said, it partially can be true. This person, they may not really want to be with the person that they're with, but they're still codependent in that relationship. And because they just want to hold on to that person for appearances, for money, for whatever reason, like a security blanket. They're not releasing that person. That's what you need to know. Um, any additional messages or guidance here for you guys? Any additional messages or guidance here? Oh, so some of you, I mean, you may have more positive things to look forward to. Yeah, I, th I think for you, it's over. Like, you you don't even want to reconcile this relationship at this point because you don't trust this person. You feel like they're just going to keep repeating the past. Yeah, ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Some of you are looking for your forever person, and you feel like this person, you can't trust them, even as hard as it is. You know, to, to find out what you did, you don't trust them. And you feel like even if you forgave them or they tried to, you know, show you they were making changes, it's like you feel so uncertain about it. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and making memories. Like I said, you're learning from the past. You're transiting the obstacles. You, you know, you're trying to move forward. You're, you're looking for your forever person. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of the future. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, or ever, everlasting promise. You're in separation from this person because you found out they were involved with someone. They were not honest about that. You don't want to keep repeating the past. And again, you ultimately have free will. You get to choose. You get to decide. But I feel like for the predominant collective, this person's going to come crawling on their hands and knees, trying to get your forgiveness, trying to get you to hear them out. But it's going to be up to you what you want to do with that because I think that they... They do honestly want you back, but they're still involved with this person. And I think for you, that's where your your guard comes up because you don't trust this. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.